enjoyed the documentary. And for me, it was part of li reliving childhood, watching boxing with my dad. So what was your experience getting to work on it as a director? Yeah, for, for me, it was it was more of an act of, of discovery because I'm not a I'm, I'm a casual boxing fan. And um, uh, I didn't really know the details of Oscar's life or, or, or career. So uh, in diving into this project, it was it was um, very eye opening. Right. And um, why why I was attracted to this project in the first place was to be able to tell a story about a Mexican-American icon. What was your experience getting to sit with these personalities? Um, what And getting to hear the, the their stories, their versions of everything, how it took place, not to mention Oscar's father. Right, well, here's the thing. Like the first time I met Oscar, I asked him why he wanted to make the film. And he said he wanted to tell the truth about his life, right? And he wanted it to not be sugar-coated and also he said nothing was off limits, right? So how that, and there's a whole kind of discussion about that that has to do with Oscar, but how that relates to everybody else who who, who we interviewed, they were given, uh, let's say, I don't know if permission is the right word, but they were given permission to speak their mind, to to speak their truth, whatever's in, 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 in their heart by Oscar, right? Um, he wasn't, no, uh, none of the subjects that we interviewed were coached up in any way or, or told, you know, don't talk about this, don't talk about that. Um, and um, so it was great in that sense, but it were also, you know, there were some difficult, some difficult moments, right? Um, the father says, you know, the thing about the father, about Oscar's fa father is that he was able to do the interview in Spanish. Right. And a lot of the interviews that I had seen of him before then were in were in English, done in English. And 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 he's fine, but he was, you know, sticking to the script, right? Um it was also a different time and a different, you know, it was during Oscar's career. But now he was able to fully express himself in Spanish in his own language and and talk about talk about his life and his life with Oscar and the, and Oscar's career. I think in a way that he's he hasn't really done in front of a camera. Um, so that and then of course, Oscar's three children, three three uh, three kids who are in the second episode. Um, you, you know they, when I before I spoke to them, before we did the interview, we we spoke and we talked about boundaries and we talked about, you know, what they may or may not be comfortable talking about. And I told them, if at any point during during the interview there's something you don't want to talk about. You know, you can you can let me know, and we'll we'll switch subjects, right? We'll switch topics, and um, and but once the interview started, they just talked, and they just um, and they were great, and they were wonderful, and their kids are, his kids are really, you know, they're 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 all amazing in their own in their own way. They're 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 so different, but they're so alike too. With the sit downs with Oscar, great. So. You know, when he said he wanted to to tell the truth about his 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 life, I had already started doing my research on him, right? Before I met him. And I knew there was a lot to unpack, right? Just from the little that I read and little that that, you know, from starting that 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 process. So I told him, look, if you want to do that, it's not gonna happen quick, right? This is going to be a process. And 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 what I proposed were one-on-one -on -one interviews, just us two in the room, nobody else. And, and, uh, and we'll see how that goes. And, and he agreed to it. And we ended up, the pr interview process ended up being la lasting over a year, uh, over a year and um, over 30 interviews. And sometimes we would talk for 45 minutes. Sometimes we would talk for three hours. Sometimes the subject was really heavy. Sometimes it was, you know, it was a bit more fun, but um, we, we had an idea, very clear idea of the story we wanted to tell. We had a, we had a very detailed story map. I knew every session from my, from my perspective was calculated in the sense that we're going, we're going to talk about this today, right? We're going to hit these eight things, right? And, um, and, and we were spent three hours talking about, or an hour and a half or whatever, talking about just that. And as you can imagine, 
you know, you get to some very real kind of uh, place, you know, if you allow somebody the space and the, and the, and the time to, to, to do that. But also the other part of it is you build trust, you know, and, and over the course of that year, there was a trust built and, and a rapport and a bond built during those interviews where Oscar felt safe in, in being able to, to talk about all of these uncomfortable things and also like the happy things, you know, sometimes it's even easier to talk about uncomfortable things than it is happy thing that, you know, to, to like, you know, he was able to express real joy too. And, um, and I think that's, that was great. Uh, you know, nothing, nothing hard comes easy. You, you know, it's, it's all, you know, nothing hard comes, comes fast. Right. Uh, uh, I think is what I'm trying to say, but any, and anyways, that, that was, that was the process. I feel like there's little portions that's kind of like a love letter to his mom. Mm -hmm. Can you talk yeah. a little bit about that part? That was pretty emotional. It's, it's, it, it was hard to grasp how much pain, but yet so much love at the same time. Exactly. Both things. I think um, there's a, the, the, it's hard to show and feel love with, if you don't show and feel pain, you have to show both, right? You can't just, you know, you can't, if you open yourself up to emotion, you open yourself up to all emotion. Right. And I wanted to kind of project that on, onto the film. And I thought that I knew there was going to be a lot of conversation about Oscar's mom, but I didn't want it to be superficial. And nobody wants it to be superficial. So uh, the the thing we had to figure out was how to tell her story without her being able to tell it for herself. And and you know I think um, you know we we use a lot of we, we approach in a lot of different ways. It, you you know we 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 talk to some of her um, of her of you know her family members and. Um, and uh, we also spoke to uh, Josefina Lopez, who was able, you know, to speak to that, uh, you know, the experience of a Mexican American woman growing up in in a in a in a society that you know that's um, that's you know patriarchal society, very uh, you know male dominated society and culture. I was pretty shocked uh, when Oscar said that the Golden Boy is bullshit mm -hmm. to live. Um, I mean, we have this image of the golden boy that it's him, but yeah, he's kind of like, I feel like he's trying to, with this documentary and you correct me, he's trying to shed that off and be like, I'm, it's, I'm Oscar. Oh, a hundred percent. That's, that's, and that's, um, you know, um, it's always tricky to figure out how you, how are you going to end the film? Right. And, 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 you know, like. I think uh, there's a, I think a need and 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 a, and and a, and a desire for you know to put something like really uplifting at the end of the film to like spike the football and to like you know have that heroic her heroic moment, but with Oscar's story, I knew it was going to be much quieter ending, much more introspective ending, and and the fact that he acknowledges that he's a work in progress and that if he could change things, he would, but. That's not open to him or to anybody for that for that matter, and um, that the golden boy persona in a lot of ways was a burden, you know, because he wasn't an angel, right? He wasn't an, an angel, but he was wasn't just him. There was a team of people that were relying on that on that squeaky clean image, and um, and and uh, to be free of that, and to be free of that burden, and and to and to put himself out there as a as a as a flawed human who who uh you know is is self-aware and is and and understands a lot of the hurt that he's caused but also knows that he has an opportunity to uh you know be a transformation to, to transform right and to build new relationships with his family and his kids and uh and i think he's you know from what i can tell what he's told me when i've heard him talk about it, is that it, he's really embracing that at this point I'm excited for the new face of his life because I, after this, I feel like he's kind of like shedding that off, that burden. And now it's kind of like a new face for him. So do I. And I'm excited for him too. You know, it's like, it's like I spent a year 
interviewing Oscar and on some level I know him intimately and on another level I don't really know him at all right because they're very, very it's a very specific relationship right um but I, I'm rooting for him and I'm grateful that that he uh he had the courage to 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 do this and I hope if, if anybody if people take anything away from this film no matter how you feel about Oscar whether you you know after watching the the film and 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 however your personal feelings about his life you might have I hope you can appreciate the courage the absolute courage it took for him to go through with this and and to let others um say whatever they needed to say right and uh and not just Oscar's courage but theirs as well you know it's for the courage that a lot of his family mem members all also showed in this process is is remarkable so um you know it's uh it's 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 one more story that adds to the mexican american and the latino experience in this in in this country right it's a very specific story it's 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 about it's about this kid in east la who suffered great tra tragedy accomplished amazing things but you know but uh was also haunted by demons right and but i think i think if you once you step back you realize that 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 it uh there's a there's a lot about about the Mexican American experience that you can learn from watching this film. People are definitely going to enjoy. It. I know I did. Um, I just I watched the two episodes like I couldn't pause, so I had to finish <laughs> and conclude. And the ending I loved. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, thank you, thank you, Fernando, to, for talking to me, and um, congratulations. Thank you, Nancy. Appreciate it. Hasta luego. Bye. Bye.